I really was impressed, and, except for Pascal's behind the back. Harlem Globe tried to pass at the end. He tried to tell me he lost it, so uh, he owes me one for that. But I thought he did a, a good job, as you can do, against Przingis, who's a very dynamic offensive player. Uh, and he did a decent job on him. But over, I was really impressed with our overall defense. We were on point, made a few breakdowns, but uh, I thought we did a good job. We make some of our corner threes. Our offense is even better, and that's something we're striving for is to make sure we hit our open corner threes. Their defense, as I was saying, their offensive production, OG and Pascal, really takes some pressure off other guys. It does. It, you know, Making their shots is huge. It takes the pressure, like you said, and it builds an area of trust. Uh, a level of trust from Demar and Kyle and and the older guys when making a pass and uh, that's what you got to have. That trust factor is huge. I think we're getting it. We got it, uh, you know, through a few struggles, but I think we're getting it. And you know, again, I, we're not a finished product yet. But it, it also has to have Demar and Kyle get you 44 points. That's five. huge. <laughs> and I think Kyle is getting it back. You see the bounce in his step, his rhythm and his shot uh, is coming back. DeMar's doing a good job of quarterbacking. I don't know how many assists he had. He had seven assists. It was huge. You know, and DeMar, I mean, Kyle had 10. So 17 assists plus their points out of that group is, is huge. But at the end of the day, the other guys have to make their shots and make their open looks, and they're getting that confidence to do it. The third straight game now with DeMar's <coughs> having five assists in the first half alone, I think he had in the first quarter mm -hmm. tonight. How much does that help when he's making a conscious effort? It does. It, Josh, it creates a rhythm. Uh, a rhythm of play, a rhythm of confidence, and a level of confidence among each other, everybody, that, hey, if I work to get open, if I create space, DeMar's going to find me, if my man helps, and that's what's happening. And then in, in the end, it's creating driving angles for him uh, when other guys are making shots. So it's a, it's a evolving you know, thing when, when you make the pass, trust the pass, and then at the end of the day, make your shots. What changed for CJ <clears throat> Well, again, making shots. He's running the same plays and getting some of the same looks. Again, I think Doug said it the first week. It's something to that first week. I don't know what it is. And in the end, it's going to be good in the long run. But that body clock, that rhythm for the whole league, I think, was a little off. And I think now you just begin to see the, the, the process of guys getting into basketball shape, game shape. You know, not saying they weren't in shape, but it's a difference of working out all summer, coming into camp, going through a hard camp, then boom, you're playing. So um, I think that's a – and then our schedule. I don't know why our schedule is ranked in the NBA. We didn't have a, a, a easy schedule. Again, it's 42, you know, 41 at home, 41 on the road. Um, but I think we've, we, we're getting through the tough part of it as we right now. I know it's his first day with you guys. <laughs> Thought he did well. Well, he was with us through camp, so all the plays, all the calls, is nothing new, you know. And everybody knows him. He knows everybody. It's not like you come somebody coming in on a ten day that never seen Demar Derozan up close and up personal and personal. So he's been around. Guys know him. They like him. You know, he's part. He's part of the training camp. So that's huge. The the two way thing for the players is is great. For the team is great. As an opportunity to play for nine oh five, come back play with us. Everybody knows each other. Uh, I think it's huge. Now, I go back past the side. It must be nice to see the <coughs> play with enough confidence and, and not be afraid that they're going to get pulled if each time they make a mistake. Well, I, again, I, if you've ever known me, I don't, I don't coach that way. Uh, everybody makes a big deal. If a guy can play, if he's played a half a year of college basketball, I'm going to play him if he can produce. I don't care if he's from Mars, Moon, wherever, you know, young, old, you know, on one leg or what. If a guy can produce, he's going to play. And our young guys are playing, they're producing, uh, and they're going to play as long as they're producing. And when they don't produce, they won't play, whoever it is. And so that's the thing. That's where, and again, Pascal's started how many games last year? He started, he's, so he's not a, your typical second-year guy. He's, he was started with 28 games or something like that last year with 30, whatever, I don't know. But so that gave, gives him a level guy. And he worked his behind off this summer. He was probably one of our hardest workers in Los Angeles this summer, working on his ball handling, working on his shot. Uh, you know, his decision making is, other than the behind the back pass, has been really good. 